disclaimer. The following is a parody of Cinema Sins Everything Wrong With series, bro. If you don't know what they spit, get your cracker box to their greasy sweet channel now. The intent of this video is to make you laugh, bro. Knowing that, you should know that the creator of this video doesn't mean to be whack and get smoke in anybody's business. He probably likes these games, bro. He just wants to do the cool video to make people laugh, man. No offense to anyone who likes this game, bro, or any of the other games that make all the bling. Anyway, stay greasy sweet, bro. We hope you like the video. Ah oh, yes, Sly 3, starring Sly Cooper the Tuff. This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that ball. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. What? I thought it was a Tuff. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Hmm, I wonder who that is. You should have changed the security code from 1, 2, 3 after you installed the new system. Then why are you saying the passcode out loud right now if you didn't change it? I'll improve, I swear! No, you'll die any second now. Considering that fact, why doesn't Richard just kill Dr. M where he stands? He's really got nothing to lose at this point. It's not working! Save yourself! If he wants to eat, eat this! Whoa, he actually got the cane to get stuck in its jaw? And then it throws away the cane like it wasn't even stuck to begin with. Okay. Sly, no! Hold on, Sly! Hold and that was Sly 3, Honor Among Thieves. Can I go now? Your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that Oh my god, are we really going through Sly's life again for the third time? Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. And you're the tough. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. Under what circumstances did you meet McSweeney anyway? Is it plot convenience? It's never really explained. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy. But what he's doing there is a mystery. What's even more of a mystery is who reported these sightings? How did this information get relayed to you? Internet? Why would anyone report this random dude wearing face paint? Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical taste changed. Adding a sin for not having the band parodying the Beatles be actual Beatles. Considering that Murray isn't technically part of the gang in this chapter and we only have Sly and Bentley, can we still call them Sly Cooper and the gang? Can two people be a gang? Hell, can three people be a gang? Again with the specific timings, what's the point? Hey, Murray? Is that you? How the fuck does Dimitri look like Murray? Sure, they're both magentish, but come on, dude. Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come around here. Dimitri? Long time no punch. See, you're still in jail. Wait, what? Didn't he become a dance instructor on a cruise ship at the end of the last game? Even if that never happened, we bust him in Paris. The fuck is he doing locked up in Venice? See, you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. I still think that may be racist. Let's get back to business. They changed her voice actress again? Cooper, grab him, man. Carmelita specifically asked the guards to follow her, and none of them gave a shit. Greetings, old. Inspector Fox! God damn, Carmelita's aim sucks. Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, searcher. Wait. Is Murray's character model still wearing the mask? They were too lazy to make a maskless model, so they just put his face paint texture over the mask? Thanks to Inspector Okay, seriously, who took this recon photo for the slides? We need your help to destroy some tar drums. I want to help you. You're like my second best friend. It's just that I promised I'd stay here and peacefully meditate till the black water ran pure. Well, what if you could help us peacefully? You wouldn't have to punch anyone. I'm in. Keep it peaceful and I'll smash up anything you'd like. Then why were you giving him shit? That's what he asked you to do in the first place. 
maintain your ball form, and smash into the tar drums around town. Awesome! Yeah, that's totally peaceful! It is? Sure Aren't I destruction and peace not. literally antonyms? Instructor Fox, I am glad to see you. This Vincent Nettie puke is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take him. Wow, that Vincent Nettie goon has pretty shit aim, too. I got a big plan for the night. Carnival, a good time, eh? I can't believe that. You guys realize there's another guard right there, right? Uh, he doesn't seem to give much of a damn. Why should we? Mom's making spaghetti tonight and I'm strong. Would you say that your knees are weak because of mom's spaghetti? Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah, that's, uh, that's strange. Back in my day, we had enforcers that would make people pee their pants just as soon as a look at them. Believe me, old timer, I don't make idle threats. Oh, I uh, why doesn't Sly just attack him now? I mean, his ribs are practically defenseless. So I'll distract the old monster with an opera duel. Be sure not to attack while we're both on stage. How do you know that? There's no audience! You've already been in danger at this dance before, why not get Murray to do the opera singing? He's literally not doing anything for this part, this is as peaceful as you can get! This is it! Octavio is due to arrive for the opera recital in just a few minutes! We did a good job taking out the advertising. No one's shown up to listen. No audience means no demolition demonstration. Why is it not the other way around? If you don't show up, I'll demolish the buildings. I don't know, it just seems stupid to want to blow up buildings when you're getting what you want and not do it if you don't. It's like bad guy 101. Okay, we need to act quickly while the recital is getting underway. Is is Sly's hair going through his hat? La, 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 la. I guess the mercenary's goggles just camouflage when looking straight forward. Wait, what the f***? But earlier we saw that the car behind this one was a car piled with logs, not another car with a door. Here we see Sly and Murray jump off the car that had the chocolate in it, and then we see Carmelita and her troops coming from the left. How? Didn't we just see her get into the car with the chocolate after Sly the gang had already stolen it? WHO TOOK THAT PHOTO FOR THE NEWSPAPER?! This paragraph is about a dude bitching about having to do work on this cutscene during his Christmas break. <laughs> no, I'm serious. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. God damn, talk about interactivity. That TV's going nuts. Dude, Murray's a Jedi?! Man, episode 8 just got a lot more interesting. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. The depths of deepness. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how are you doing, Bata? You seriously won't leave without your gear? Slime the gang understand Deeksha for some reason. Then I'll throw this clown into the drill! That might break the circuit! And, you know, kill the guy, but sure. The truck's tires will heat up quickly in this blazing hot sand. You'll have to cool them down by driving into the water or running over scorpions. Because scorpions are cool, I guess? I mean, I don't really get how running over them cools down the tires. No! Giant scorpions? Run for it, mate! Uh-oh! Oh yeah, because both times I got stung by a scorpion, my reaction was uh-oh. Aw, oh, sweet. Now I can evolve my Nidorino into Nido King. The time for escape has come! Ooh, da, da. Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? Well, the there's a gaping hole in the fence. He'll take a liking to the taste of miners and chow down on them left and right! Please don't say it like that. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley! I approve! Stop! Careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo! And then Murray died of radiation poisoning. He will be missed. Listen up, dirtbags. 
time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Top, took, waka. Whoa, that's racist. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Oh, sure, we can talk about eating miners, but make the bar a lemonade bar. Finally, that guy was the mask. It's getting away? Why are you surprised, dumbass? This is like the 17th time! Finally, the darts are starting to kick in. Or not. The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger. That doesn't make any... What? We interrupt Sly 3 to bring you Shadow of the Colossus. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying... She Why does Bentley type like a 10-year-old playing COD? Wow, for a hacker slash thief, couldn't Bentley pirate Photoshop or something? Damn, man. Isn't that the Contessa's body without the spider legs? You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. The fashion? Style? Yeah, you're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. Yes, because as we all know, fashion is run by only the smartest people. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? Oh, Jesus, it's the master of title all over again. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. So, what animal is the Black Baron supposed to be? Everyone here is a species of dog, but the Baron looks human. Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes! Or when Team Iceland sawed the landing gear off Korea's planes! <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine! Whoa, that one from a 0 to 100 really quick. It's gonna fall! Luckily, the catapult landed unscathed. Hey! <laughs> I can't tell if that was a serious laugh or not. Nice work, Guru. The back doors are still holding tight, but the top of the vehicle's been blown wide open. One could argue that we didn't even need the Guru. We could have just had Murray use his ball form to smash the top of the vehicle. It goes in circles anyway. It's not like it could have gotten away. Okay, so we need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Bentley, you're the one coming up with these plans. Why are you always putting yourself in danger when Murray's doing nothing? Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentleman callers than the operator. Hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Even if your ego is the size of Godzilla, if you're an internationally wanted criminal, WHY WOULD YOU CALL OUT A GODDAMN MEMBER OF INTERPOL?! Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. At this point, why is Sly even wanted? Isn't Sly a Robin Hood kind of guy? Only stealing from thieves? I mean, yeah, he stole his own files from Interpol, but other than that, what do they think Sly's gonna pull? Another falls before my digital kung fu! That's racist. The fuck? What? Did the raft have rocks in it? <laughs> That's enough. You win, Cooper. Uh, how does this work exactly? Is it a robot body? I bet it's a robot body. What the hell is Bentley upset about? He catfished too. That's like lying about your skills on a resume and then complaining about the job being too hard. With how many times they've made things explode that latch off and rotate at alarming speeds, you'd think someone's head would have gotten cut off already. We all know that our objective here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jane King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sal. General Sal? A and he's a chicken? I, I got nothing. You have a strong sense of, uh, compositional regularity and, a. Uh, Force perspectivism. One, I think you mean compositional techniques and force perspective, and to hell no, there's none of that. It's the team van! Last time I saw it, it was floating away on a block of ice in Canada! And now it's here! Oh, of course it is! Automatically analyze it. What the? the General Sal! He's. He's got my computer! And who was the asshole that not only allowed Sal to take these photos, but put them in the slideshow? I'm not ashamed to rely on my friends. My friends are my power cliche. But she doesn't want to marry you. She's a woman. She doesn't know up from down. Oh sh! Oh sh! Incoming from the Nazis. Abort video. Abort video. It gets worse, Cooper. Up until now, 
I've gone easy on you. I've gone easy on you, cliche. Jing King is mine. Jing King is a person, not property. And sorry, pal, but we're ending this right now. <coughs> I love that the HD version lets us see that the animators didn't get rid of the model, just placed him off screen to the left. He humiliated us, ruined us, made us weak. Humiliation was a crossroads. I have chosen to walk the path of humility. Humility that cost you your daughter. We interrupt Sly 3 to bring you Sam Raimi Spider-Man. Opening the door for a lady. And some say Chevrolet is dead. Don't flatter yourself, you were just behind Sly when he opened the door. Also, my lady. Who's this failed bride he's so interested in anyways? Well, he's not the only one who can play the disguise game. I'll give him and his gang a shotgun wedding they'll never forget. So, does the Sly door just make anyone look like Jin King Shadow? General Sal had his wedding right on schedule. How? How does Sal not notice that his bride doesn't physically resemble Jin King at all? An example, her tail, and is very likely not wearing the same outfit. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? Oh, come on, man. We've had eating minors, your mama jokes, offending women. Are we really going to put robbing the handicapped past us? Nope. I could use my RC card, go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as the disk. It should be able to download its content. Nerd! Yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. Are you kidding me? You're awesome in that chair. Getting handicapped was one of the best things that could have happened to you. Uh, I mean, shit, editing this out. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, oh sorry about that standing comment. Well, looks like I'm not the only one being a douche. This is it! The Dagger Island treasure map. Ah! My eyes! Oh, I can't see some kind of blinding dust. You're... You're wearing big-ass glasses, though. Away with you! Back to your ship! This gold is mine now! Her death is yours! Take your choice. Guys, we don't have any options here. Really? Couldn't you use Bentley sleep darts? You have your cane. Being quick about it, you could kick this guy's ass. First, they'll put Dimitri's new diving gear to use. They let Dimitri keep the diving gear? Why? They could have stolen that too. How does the Panda King aim his fireworks? Making me walk the plank? You're the pinnacle of creativity, Lefui. Not creative! I'm the smartest man in the Seven Seas, you... You... Intelligence does not correlate creativity. They're not mutually exclusive, Lefui. Take a battalion of your best men and raid the Cooper ship. There's sure to be some lingering rats about. What? Sir! Don't cut me off while I'm speaking, or I'll cut you off from breathing. I'm sorry, you weren't done speaking? That sounded like the end of a sentence to me. Funny, but here I am at the end, and suddenly all I can think about is what a coward I've been towards Carmelita never took the next step. How could you? She'd arrest your ass immediately. It has nothing to do with cowardice towards your emotions. Uh, roll credits, I guess? Sorry, Madam Cop. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Although I can throw you a long, long way. Go and smash that woman. Crush her bones to paste and toss her in the sea where no one will ever find her. Uh, Carmelita, you can shoot- Okay. Sweet. The shuttle dude makes sounds for a scuba. There you go, baby. Dimitri on natural. Woo! Your plan is work to perfection. My plan to get you alone in a swimsuit? Come clean, my lovely, and play your cards straight. These are dangerous waters, and I'm a big, strong, macho, macho man. Okay, first, get over yourself. Second, I need it. Get over yourself. Man, Penelope makes my job so much easier. Why is Sly flying the tornado too? Time does strange things to people. Gus, the real leader of your Bitly. Whatever, we're friends. Equal. Then why is it called the Cooper Gang, you self-centered egomaniac? Sadly, he has a point. Oh, I haven't used that one in a while.
Wow, luckily their necks didn't snap due to whiplash. Sir, we're all here, but are we equal? Who went into the vault? Sly, by himself. Well, it's not really Sly's fault that his ancestors designed the Cooper Vault to only be able to be traversed by a Cooper. That and the Thievius Raccoonus. Oh, a love interest. I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her! Oh good, luckily Sly landed safely on the conveniently located edge instead of the bottomless pit that surrounds the conveniently located edge. Hmm, I guess I was wrong. People other than Coopers can navigate the Cooper Vault. Except, you know, Dr. M had his jetpack that allowed him to pass by all the obstacles no problem, and it should have been impossible for Bentley to traverse due to his jet booster's limited use, and he can't do any of the things Sly can do except move, pickpocket, and jump. So while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell. Literally. Cause I'm building a time machine to find out! Um... I know the real-life explanation is because they're setting up for the sequel, but why did he want to build a time machine in the first place? To see if they have adventures together again? Why don't you just wait and see if that happens yourself? The Guru returned to the Outback and took on some new Dreamtime students. One of which was a high-profile rock star that brought a lot of unwanted media attention. Last I heard, he was hiding out in New York City. Figured it was the last place they'd ever look. Ah, New York City. Only the best place for meditation. Hey guys, Charlie 5 here. Thanks so much for watching my Cinnamon 6 parody of Everything Wrong with Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. So many people requested me to do this video. So many people. Don't really understand why though. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I parody. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have the time, why not check out Everything Wrong with Sly 2, Band of Thieves. Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Charai 5, signing off. Who took that photo for the- <clears throat> Whoa. The f what? Did the rock have rafts in it? Wow, I'm so fing dyslexic. Oh, good. Luckily, Sly landed safely on the conveniently located edge instead of the bottomless pit that surrounds the conveniently located edge. I feel like a lot of the words just.